What's going on YouTube? So, I got myself a new crappy camera off Amazon Prime for a couple bucks. So I don't have to use my cell phone anymore. So the quality of the video is probably going to go down a little bit. Because this, I believe, shoots in like 5K or 10K. I don't fucking know. And this one shoots in 1080p! Anyway, this should be easier for me other than... Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to make a very simple video this morning just to test out this camera and to see if I can use my editing software on my computer to make a better video than having to jump around and fuck it up like I usually do. Anyway, so I'm going to stare at this lens because I can see myself over here so I can see where I'm filming versus where I am looking. It's very confusing. So like all my other videos, this is probably going to be just as shitty. But anyway, so what are we doing today? So a long time ago, about two years ago, I tried to do some home repair with some flex seal and the girlfriend told me, yeah, idiot, you're not doing it that way. So I have this whole can of flex seal just sitting in my garage and it's never been used, but I thought of a great idea of rhino lining my workbench with it to see if I could do that. Uh, because, hey, what else do you do with flex seal? Apparently you can do anything with it. So I'm going to try that out and see if we can do it, but I'm going to try it out on a small little brick of, not a brick, a small little piece of wood first. So we'll try that out and then see how it goes. Oh, by the way, today is December 24th, Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas, everybody. Anyway, all right, catch you in the next clip. Okay, so we did our initial test. It looks pretty good. So you got that first layer on there. It's rubber. It doesn't really peel off. So that's pretty cool. So I think I'm just going to do the whole workbench in Flex Seal now and kind of see how that goes. And this stuff smells, so I imagine the workbench is probably going to take a little while to get done. So we'll start that process and then we'll see what it looks like when we're finished. Boom!
Alright. So that is the first layer on the bench. It's looking sharp. So we'll let that dry up. And then we'll add the second coat. Alright, so I'm done rhino lining my bench. It looks pretty good. You can see it's like it's got a little bit of texture to it. So overall, very happy with it. I didn't have enough to do the back, but that's okay. I'll probably pick up another can. So this stuff does work. Flex seal. So the bench looks pretty good. I did the sides. I just finished it up. Today's December 25th, so 2018. So it took a little bit for me to finish it up. So the workbench is completed. So now we can turn this thing on and see if that works. It does work. You guys have already seen that video. But so you can rhino line your workbench with that. And there's some spots, and I'll come back with come back with uh some more of this stuff probably and do that. But that's pretty cool. I didn't actually think that would work. Alright, so I'm going to work on wood lathing now. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.